What's good guys, it's your boy Dreadtails hitting you out with another video. I'm just going to dive right into it. Today we're going to be customizing this pair of Nike slides. What we're going to be doing is painting the Trini flag on uh, both of these tops here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is before doing any prep work or painting, you want to make sure you clean these. If you want to know how to clean them, I'm going to leave an info card in the top right corner of how to clean sneakers and slippers and stuff like that. So go check that out. So pretty much what you want to do for preparation work after washing it and obviously letting them dry is that you want to apply uh, acetone on wherever you're painting at so you can prep the leather. You just want to get uh, acetone and cotton rounds. Uh, pretty much any acetone for like nail polish remover and stuff like that will work fine. I just picked this one up from Walmart, it isn't really anything too complex, but yeah. So I'm just going to work with this, put it on the cotton round, and just start wiping away. What I'm going to be using is Angelus white paint. Uh, this is pretty much going to be like my base for like when I want to trace my design and stuff like that. And then also with that. I'm going to be mixing in GAC 900, pretty much so the paint can apply easier to the surface of the slippers. And obviously, mixing jar to mix the two, and paintbrush. applied the first layer of the white I actually forgot to mention this uh, I'm going to be applying at least two to three coats of white just to get like a good foundation for when I put it in my design and stuff like that so make sure you put it in put like a good base coat because that really makes your job like pretty well so once you do that let it dry apply the second coat then obviously apply the third and then you can start your design Okay guys, so I put down my three coats of white. It took a while to dry because I don't have a heat gun at the moment. So it's actually nighttime. That's why the lighting is like kind of terrible right now. I do apologize for that. So what I'm pretty much going to be doing is that I'm going to pick this up tomorrow. But I'm going to do like the stenciling method of my design off camera. So we'll pick this up tomorrow. Alright guys, we are back. Uh, finally got all the stenciling done with the help that I desperately needed because again this is my first time doing a whole custom but yes everything is done so I'm pretty much just ready to paint on the slipper and we should be good from there well at least for now so what I'm gonna do is well I'm gonna need three different colors for the slipper I'm gonna need the white the red wow I just did that like kinda stupidly but yeah I'm gonna need black red white and of course, GAC 900, so the paint can pretty much go on easier. So, let's get into it. guys uh finished all the painting and I actually wow i actually added some stuff to it but for the most part as you can see the trinidad and tobago flags are painted on on oh, the sides have home of the greatest carnival and on the insides I want to add something cool too so i added the longitude and latitude well is it this way? yes this way the longitude and latitude of trinidad so yeah, uh, what we're gonna be doing now is spraying the mat, uh, ah, spraying, spraying the mat finish on this, so it could be nice and sealed in. Don't really have to worry about like paint coming off and all that. For the mat finish, I'm gonna be spraying two coats of it, 
so I can get a nice good seal. I don't really have to worry about paint. One thing that I do want to mention that is actually very important. Once after I finished painting, I removed all the masking that I already had and I replaced it with new masking just so like when I spray the matte finish, I will, don't really have to worry about old tape being on there. See all this is all masked off when I spray it. But yeah, uh, I placed new tape because I think yeah, the tape I had was like two days old. So I just wanted to like get fresh tape for when I spray it. I didn't really have to worry about it, but yeah. Let's get to the matte spring, guys. Okay, guys, while the first coat of matte finish is drying, I'm going to quickly go over what I did for this project. Now, uh, after cleaning and prepping the leather, what I did was uh, lay down the foundation paint, which was the white. I did three coats of that. Once that dried up, I pretty much stenciled in my design, and then after doing that, I got painting. I did three coats of red, the obvious three coats of white, like I said earlier, and the three coats of black. And the lettering and numbers and stuff like that, all is like one coat. Now, um, for the matte finish, I'm going to be doing one more coat. I'm only going to do two that I don't think I need to do any more than that, but yeah, that's pretty much what I did for this project. So. If you guys like this custom, smash that like button. Also, if you have any questions or any critiques or criticism, whatever it's called, then drop that in the comment section. Also, please share this video if you can. It only takes one second. It really helped me out a lot and it really goes a long way for me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more customs, then also let me know in the comment section. Make sure you follow all my social media accounts. They will be down in the description. And also, uh, follow me on snapchat because the people on snapchat actually got to see this project first and as well as instagram my instagram is dread tales my snapchat is dread tales 384 all that stuff is going to be down in the description so make sure you guys go follow me this is dread tales and i'll holla at you